And the way these these rotors right here, uh, you can also use the standard type nozzles like this. Okay, so today we're gonna go over the different uh, sprinkler pop-ups and rotors. Um, obviously this is not everything, but uh, these are the more popular ones, especially for the residential areas. So I'll start off here with the Rainbirds and I'll kind of show you how, how it uh, pops up to a six inch riser. Uh, you can see it retracts. Uh, the other uh, advantage of this is that it has a a built-in check valve. As you can see, this end here is water goes in here, and it's being it, it's uh, meaning that um, once your system shuts down, um, it'll keep from the uh, lateral lines emptying out. So uh, this is especially good for um, area where you're dropping and this will keep it from uh, from the water from going out once it shuts down and they have this in also other um, sizes as well like, the, uh, like a four inch pop-up and uh, the three inch in the rainbird uh, this particular one is used for uh, like a flower bed area so we can you know clearance with that uh, I'm gonna go for a few uh, nozzles here. Show you how uh, the different radiuses and gallons per minute, uh, as well as um, the distances. For example, right here, this is a a 10 inch riser, or excuse me, a 10 foot riser, and it's at a, a 90 or <clears throat> 90 degree or quarter spray so you can see like right here this is you can see the pattern lines right here gives you the hint of what it is there's also the um the uh range the distance excuse me um which would be 10 feet would be right here um then you have it's a 12 foot example you see and you have your fulls as a 15 uh, one important thing to take notice is that you need to have the right now the right filter. Um, important thing about there's two 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 uh, important factors about the filters is that it filters the water as well as if you as well as uh, being part of the adjustment. So you have to have a filter when, when you put your nozzles in because otherwise it won't adjust. Um, and as far as adjustments, uh, you can actually bring this down to like 25% uh, lower. You can actually make this to, you know, 10 feet, eight feet instead of 10, but it's, it's gonna be like 25% lower that you can go. That's all, that goes for all the nozzles. Um, so there's different patterns. There's, there's um, patterns for rectangle ang angles. Uh, for example, like a, um, a curbside where you have like kind of a rectangle area. Um, and then they have like, for rectangle areas, have like an end, end spray where it shoots from one end to the other. Um, they also have these other nozzles that, let me see if I can find it here. Okay, so this is an example right this is a nozzle where it shoots, um, trajects up, and then also shoots down. You see I had two little cuts right here. So it'll shoot down as well as shoot up. Um, but on this one, you um, have to take consideration also on how, um, you know, how much water that you have available. So, because uh, it's more, it's gonna produce more water, like twice as much usage so but it's very good when you have like a, a more of a drier area on the bottom maybe uh, the soil is not so um, loom and it has it's more more of a, a clay soil and where it dries up you know quicker 
and this you could just yeah, this will shoot down here and shoot up. Let's go to the uh, the hunter pop-ups. Um, these also have this in particular is, is a has a, a regulator in it. This one has is, is regulated, and they come also with uh, the check valves or both. Um, so you want to have uh, the good thing about this, and now they're having actually it's a mandatory, so it's it's a it's it's um, something that we have to use in California. Um, all everything has to be either regulated or with a check valve in it or both. The good thing about the being it regulated is that if, for example, the water's too high pressure, then you'll have a mist on your it'll mist and you'll be wasting water. So when it's regulated it shoots out uh, water like it should be, you know. You would have droplets as as the water falls. So that's a good thing about that. Um, as well as um, going on slopes where your lateral lines are going down and you're, you know, it will stop if you have a check valve, stop the water from coming out once it shuts down. Uh, and the way these, these rotors right here, uh, you can also use the standard type nozzles like this. Actually, these are interchangeable with the, with the Rainbird and the Hunters. But they have um, what's more popular with this pop up here is that is the of the MPs, and they come in var various radiuses and distance and and distances. Again, also you need to have now this these two these MPs right here they they're built in uh, uh, filters. So you don't need to worry about that. And um, they come in different ranges, ranges as well as degrees. The benefits of the MPs is that, well, the way the pattern goes, it's just like a stream. So it shoots out close to the, 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 spray, the sprinkler as well as shooting out to the distance that it's um, supposed to go. The benefit of, of the MPs is that if you have a low pressure and low volume, this is the way you want to go because this will compensate for it. Uh, so it works well with uh, low volume and low pressure water. And you have your also our, uh, hunter nozzles. These are adjustables and they come in different, also the different distances. This is an eight foot, 10 foot, 12 and 15. And they go from um, zero to 360. Just go backtrack a little bit. This right here is to adjust your MPs. Um, if you look at that real closely, you have a little, it's almost like it's a little screwdriver there and adjusts this here. So they'll adjust the distance and this will adjust the radius. Like that. And then going back to the, um, the uh, Rainbird ones, you just have to have a flathead small uh, screwdriver to adjust that. So last we have the um, rotors, especially used for um, like bigger areas and uh, banks. They have, this is, these two particular for like above ground, they have the ground level um, rotors for like big grass areas. Um, but these right here for like, for um, above ground, um, you know, like uh, banks areas where there's not going to be uh, a lot of traffic because there are going to be above ground. And then you have your different nozzles or can go uh, different distances. This right here, this um, uh, PGJ, this goes a distance 15 to 37, I believe. Um, in my experience, it falls short of that. So you're definitely going to get the 15, but probably, and depending on your pressure, it's probably going to get you about like a little over 30 feet. Um, then this is a, a PGP. This all, uh, goes from, I think it's um, 17 to 47. Again, this is going to fall short, but um, uh, definitely would get you over 30 feet, 35 feet. Um, <clears throat> Then we have a little tool right here. Um, well, let me just, this tool right here, this actually goes right in here. And that will take out your, your nozzle 
here, your insert. And then you can pick the one you want. So you can you can take it out and replace it. And you can also, uh, that also adjusts the arc. See that here, right here, this, this. So these also go from uh, 0 to 360. And you can adjust it right here. You can kind of feel once you get in there how. Let's see. Anyway, that's a spot you can, there it goes. So that's where you can adjust. And you see the little arrow where it goes. Um, you can increase or decrease. So I believe this is a clockwise, which decreases, increases it. Counterclockwise, counterclockwise decrease. Um, yeah. And that's same thing with this uh, PDJ. So, all right, well, that's it for today, and we'll see you for the next one.